こんにちは、みなさん。Hello, everybody. Today we're going to be learning about the verbs to go, to come, and to return in Japanese and how to use them in a sentence. So let's begin. The verb to go is ikimas, to come is kimas, and to return is kaerimas. And these are all direction verbs, meaning there's a point A and a point B. And direction verbs just characterize this movement from one point to the other. And they're very different from general verbs like tabemas, nomimas, and mimas. So let's dive in. So, first, we need to learn about the sentence structure. How do we use these verbs? You begin with a destination or place, and then you put the particle ni or e, and then lastly, you will have your verb ikimas, kimas, or kaerimas. Again, it's ending in mas, so of course it has to be at the end of the sentence. And we have a couple of rules, well, three rules. First rule, as I've just explained, ni or e, these particles always come after the destination or place. Secondly, there is no I will come like there is in English. You know, when you tell someone that you are going to an event, sometimes someone will say, hey, are you coming? And then you will say, I will come. But in Japanese, we need to think about the speaker's perspective. So you will always say, I will go. Lastly, there is no going home in Japanese. Instead, it's always returning home. You will always use kaerimas when you're talking about your house. And now, for a couple of examples. So we have this little dog, and he is going to the beach. So first, we start with our destination, beach. And then we will put our particle, ni or e, and then lastly the verb. So, umi ni ikimas, or umi e ikimas. And now the dog has acquired a car. Now we will say, umi ni kuruma de ikimas. So, kuruma means car. And de means by. So, umi e kuruma de ikimas. Either particle is fine. But yeah, now you will see another example. Think about what you would say if you're going to school using a school bus. Gakko ni school bus de ikimas. Or gakko e school bus de ikimas. Either way, you're going to school. You're going to school, not coming to school. But now, say you have arrived. Now that you're at the school, you would say, Kimashita, because you've already arrived. So I came to school by school bus. Gakko ni skuru basu de kimashita, or gakko e. Scooter bus de kimashita. But again, on the way to school, you would never use kimas. You are not. Mm, you are going to school. Let's just say that. You are going to school. You are on the way to school. You will always use ikimas. And then once you've arrived, kimashita. Past tense. Another example. You want to go camping. Kyampu ni ikimasu. You are on the way to go camping. You have not arrived yet. But now, 
you have made it, that's when you say kimashita. Kyampu e kimashita. Well, let's say your friend, the cat, is coming. You would say, Neko wa kimasu. So you think about the speaker's perspective. From your own perspective, this cat is coming. But from the cat's perspective, the cat is going. So let's take a look at their, how they would describe what the cat is doing. So the cat would be saying, I am going to the campsite. Watashi wa kyampu ni ikimasu. But the dog would be thinking about the cat coming to the campsite. Neko san wa kyampu ni kimasu. I hope that makes sense. All right. And lastly, rule number three. When you are going home, you are always returning home. Uchi ni kaerimasu or uchi e kaerimasu. Wherever you've gone, it doesn't matter. When you're talking about your house, you are always returning home. Even if you spend the night at your friend's house, maybe you didn't start the day there, but home is home and you're going to return there. All right. To summarize, after the destination, you will use the particle ni or e. Secondly, you will never say, I will come. You will always say, I will go. But once you have arrived, that's when you say, I came. I arrived. And you will never use going home. You will always be returning home. So always use kaerimasu when it comes to your home. And that is all for today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you understand. Uh, keep learning and enjoy the rest of your day.